and I want to quickly just start recording. I forgot to do that, but I'll just quickly do an intro and near the end of it. I'll do an intro after the live stream that way, <laughs> it'll make a little sense. And I'll just paste it together. Alright, back to using the Ojama Country cards. By the looks of it, I'm already screwed because I don't actually have... Uh, select two main monster zones on the field. Neither player can use those selected zones. Alright, cool. Well, uh... I'll go Mystical State Base Typhoon and we'll select one of our cards. Alright. That was Beckoning Light, discard your entire hand, then for each card you discard to the graveyard, by this effect, add one lot monster from your graveyard to your hand. Well, she wouldn't have been able to use that because she had no monster cards in the graveyard. And I could use two collapsing grounds. I'm assuming this deck is used to primarily uh, block her from being able to summon monsters on the field because with Collapsing Ground, as well as a Jama Knight and a Jama King, she won't be able to really use any monster spots, but she has one monster on the field already, so no really can do much about that. Well, we've got Terraforming, might as well use it. That can let me draw a... We'll go for a Fusion Gate. I think that'd be a good idea. But we still still got no monster cards. Like I said before, I have been sick. Uh, I got last sick last Sunday, which was funny because uh, I was dealing with wisdom pain on the Sunday before, which means I actually had to deal with uh, wisdom pain for a couple days, and then I got sick, and they were both on Pokemon Red live streams. So I think the, I think Pokemon Red is kind of cursed right now. So we're going to set down a Jama Red, which when this card is normally summoned, you can special summon up to four Jama monsters from your hand and attack position. Well, we don't have any more Ajama monsters, so we're only going to stuck with the uh, Ajama Red. And she's going to get 500 points, life points, for every draw she does on a standby phase. There's Messenger of Peace, which means now that's going to be on the field essentially for the rest of the duel because she can regenerate life points. Uh, we'll keep a jump of black in my hand. She can only attack with monsters that are 1500 points or weaker, but she's not bringing up that in uh, the defense monster into attack position, so we don't know what that is. Right, we'll go for another terraforming. And we'll go for another Jama country. And I will end my turn. I'll probably check out what the fusion monsters are after in my next turn. That way I can figure out what cards I have. I'm pretty sure he'll have probably a Jama Knight and a Jama King. The thing is, I need a card to get rid of that Messenger of Peace, otherwise I probably won't be able to attack. Yep, a Jama Knight and King. Well, we got a Jama Blue. We'll have to end our turn. And we've got six cards on our hand, which means we won't be able to use... I uh, have any more than six afterwards, so... We'll have to place something down on. I'm hoping that there is another Mystical Space Typhoon, or something I can use to destroy that card. Alright, what we're going to do is throw down Fusion Gate. There's Mystical Space Typhoon, which is going to destroy it. Oh, that's too bad. I was hoping that I'll be able to use that. Well, we'll go back to a Jama Country. I think we have three Jama Countries and three uh, Fusion Gates, right? At least that's what we saw on our deck, or maybe two. So I'll be able to use it again. She 
It's already up to 10,000 points, though. That's a little concerning. There's the third Delta Hurricane. We'll be able to use that once we get a Jama Yellow, but I need all three on the field. Ooh, Gressel Charity. That could be good. One, two, three. Uh, we keep red, we get rid of green, and we'll get rid of one of the Delta Hurricanes. Uh, if this card is sent from the hand or field to the graveyard, add one, a Jama Green, Yellow, and Black. Well, I'll have to place it down, and hopefully she can destroy it. That way I can get those cards in my hand. Oh yeah, she just did. Awesome. One, two, three, just the cards I need. I'll have to discard, we'll go for Ajama Green, Ajama Black, and Ajama Blue. <coughs> Shame that we did have to discard a couple cards, but at least now we have a full set on our hands. And if we summon a Jama Red, we can sum summon up to four monsters in attack mode. Right, first terraforming. That's going to give us Fusion Gate. Now we're going to summon a Jama Red. Activate Jama Yellow. Ajama Black. And Ajama Green. Now we'll go for Delta Hurricane. That gets rid of her entire field. Fusion Gate. Now we can banish these guys for one Ojama King. We can place him in attack mode, it doesn't matter if he has zero, because I'm pretty sure we can block both. Oh, we can't block the extra zone. Ooh. Well. That should be fine, I think. I doubt that she's going to really be able to special someone. Watch her special someone. Now what we need is just a Jama Country again. That way we can switch the attack and defense. We can summon that in attack mode. Switch it to defense. She's gonna end her turn. Awesome. Most of her cards are gonna be allow her to basically gain life points. Now we get rid of that for a Jama Country. That switches to you attack and defense around. So now. If this is not a card that uses Mirror Force or something like that, nope, no, obviously destroying monster cards, we can start going for attacks. And she's got no field, so, uh, no monster field zone, so we can just attack her. I do kind of feel bad, because... She's got no way of defending herself now. Really, the only thing she did really have is the Master of Peace card, which basically would have just stopped uh, me from attacking with King and Knight. 
right, we got a Duel of a Duel, which is the, I think this is the start of the second season, isn't it? Like the very start of it, or it might be the third season, where Jesse Ax, uh, Jesse Axel, uh, the Australian guy, Jim, I think his name is, and the guy with the cloud deck, Adrian, I think, I think that's all of them. That's when they all come in and uh, season three starts. Oh, that's right. He also gets the crystalline cards, which are like baby versions of the uh, Neo Spatian cards. Target one elemental hero normal monster in your graveyard and special summon. That could be good for. Bracel Charity. If we get Neos, we can ditch him to the graveyard. Mm -hmm. We weren't lucky enough for Neos, though. We go for... Uh... We'll go for these two. We'll ditch these two. Summon... Hummingbird. Activate his ability. We get 1,500 life points. And we're probably going to lose 1,500 life points once he summons... A strong enough monster to take it down. I'm gonna say he's gonna go for Tiger. Oh no, Pegasus. And he's got Amber, uh, Amber, no, Amber Mammoth in uh, the special zone. Or oh, the. Not special zone, but the spell and trap card zone anyway. Back into defense mode. Once I turn you, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls uh, until the end of the phase. This monster becomes that monster's original name, also replaces the effect of that original monster. They could be useful, I don't just know how that works though. Alright, I'm gonna go Cocoon Party. We'll go. Uh. Go for Peony, I guess. I probably should place that in defense mode. That was my fault. Special summon a monster on the field. Activate only when a monster is special summoned to your opponent's side of the field. Each player can special summon one level 4 monster from their hands. Right, that's not bad. We'll go for Neo Panther and attack. Okay, so Cat. And at the start of the damage step, you can return. Probably put that. Probably not the best playing so far. Not really thinking strategically. I'm pretty sure if I return that back to the field, uh, back to our hands, and that really leaves me wide open though. Not the best playing. Should have thought about it. Although I haven't really played with most of these cards, so. Crystal Beacon. And Ruby Carbuckle, I'm pretty sure, allows you to summon them from your spell field into the attack. Eh, it's not good. Yeah, I should have placed them in defense mode. Eh, pretty much my fault. I wasn't really thinking. That's fine, I should be able to survive. And then I'll go for a Dark Hole. All right, we'll go for Emergency Call. We'll go for Neos. Too bad I couldn't draw you with Graceful Charity, though. Dark Hole. Please, you want attack mode. Then we'll go for attack.
Uh oh. With Ruby Cobble coming up the field, he's gonna summon him back into attack mode. Alright, well, that was a wash. Should have played more strategically and should have actually thought about what I was doing first. You don't really notice how weak, like, a lot of the hero cards and sport cards are, especially, like, the Neo Spacious. They're not very strong. They've got decent abilities, but they're not very strong. I think Jaden's deck really relies on the fact that you need the right card at the right time. Which, I mean, yeah, that's, like, most decks. But. Hmm. Okay, no, uh, Dolphin and Neo Spacious Mole. We'll place... Call the Haunter down. Near space. Uh, we'll throw down by tributing this card while near space is on the field. Special summon one near space in Aqua Dolphin from your hand or deck. Is there a reason for that? I'll throw that in defense mode. Then we'll go Cocoon Party. Uh, let's see. You can tribute this card while Neo Space is on the field, and Special Summon 1, Neo Space and Flare Scarab. So basically they all have the exact same ability. Oh no, we'll go for a Glomos. Now, can we place you into fans mode? Oh, it's good. I figured as much because I mean, it, unless it specifically says defense or like uh, attack mode, you can put it in whichever way you want. All right, we're gonna go Glomos defense mode. Glomos is pretty good if you get. Oh, well, it depends on the enemy stack, really. The high likelihood or to have, I think it's attack monsters. We can really skip over their turns, which is good. I'm gonna go for your ability first. And I'm gonna end a turn. Alright, it's a monster, so we end the turn. Awesome. Because. Monster attacks, uh, if he draws a monster card, we can end the turn uh, before he obviously does finishes the attack, so he won't even be able to continue any other attack as well. Uh, we'll go for Pentail. That'll allow us to special summon. Dark Panther. We'll go for... Air Hummingbird's ability, so that's 2,000 extra points. Hopefully he goes for uh, Glomos again, and that way we can hopefully end the turn, so that way we don't lose any cards. Alright, spell card. What does spell card do? Nothing. Alright, well he's got all three of his Pegasus on the field. It's not going too good. And now he's got Ruby Carbuckle too.
also I've got another hummingbird. Now I get 2,000 luck points, but I'm going to take a couple... Ooh, maybe. What it could do is go dark hole. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is the internet disconnected? Hold on one second, guys. Sorry about that. Hopefully, the internet starts working again. Alright, it says connected again. Sorry about that. I don't know why it suddenly just stopped again. I don't know, it has its weird days. Alright, sorry about that. Hopefully it starts working again. I don't know why it disconnects for some, re for some reason. It does that randomly every now and then. Uh, we'll go for Neo. Hummingbird. Activate its ability. Get 2,000 life points. And my turn. And I'm probably going to get absolutely slammed by his monster cards if he gets his ruby carbuckle on the field. And here it comes. I don't really have much of a counter. I could use, obviously, uh, Claw of the Haunted, but that's only going to stop one attack. Uh, select one card to the send one card to the graveyard. Uh, I guess we can send his Pegasus. All right. That's one Crystal Beast. That's two Crystal Beasts. Now we can stop his Tortoise by using Call of the Haunted. It'll stop an extra 600 points of damage uh, by summoning out Hummingbird. The reason why I wouldn't do that is we get extra points. We get an extra 3,000, which is nice. Alright, we'll go. Extra 3,000, then we'll summon out, ooh. Ooh, we only get an extra 800 points, which isn't going to be enough. Let's switch out of defense mode. You can summon Dolphin in attack mode. Then we'll activate its ability. Uh, what's the turn? You can discard one card, look at your opponent's hand, choose one monster. If you control a monster with attack greater than that, then or equal to, equal to the attack of the chosen monster card, destroy that chosen card, and if you do, inflict 500 damage to your opponent, otherwise take 500 damage. That's a bit of a gamble. But I want to place you in defense mode. Hopefully... There's got to be something I can do to destroy some of his cards and put them in the zone. That way, Flare Scarab can be stronger. Yeah, we're just going to be taking a little bit of damage now. Alright, he's switching Tortoise back to defense mode. I mean, that's not a hard bad idea. That's an extra 800 attack points, right? No, 400 attack points, sorry. Go for Dark Hole. Summon that Flame Scarab. It's gonna be 1600 to 25. Oh, that's right, it also halves your, atta uh, your attack damage. 
Crystal Ruins is pretty good because you can also draw one once per turn, including your opponent's half attack. Discard, and he's going to draw Ruby Carbuckle, summon it out to the field, and that means I'm going to lose a bunch of points. In fact, it's going to go down to about 500 attack points. Damn it. Well, Flame Scarab was good as long as he lasted, which was a whole three seconds, but now I'm wide open for an attack again. Right, you emergency call. Well, finally got Neos, but now that's going to do Jack. Could have been a lot more useful when I could have discarded him or something so that way I could call him to the field. I'm gonna need a miracle card here. Come on, something good. Special summon one elemental hero from your hand. That monster cannot attack and returns to your hand at the end of the phase. Well, that is completely useless because, I mean, I can't destroy it. Anything with it if I can't attack. And I mean, if it returns to my hand, I can't use them for defense either. And with obviously Ruby Carbuckle, here comes the other two Pegasuses. Pegasuses? Pegasi? Pegasi? I mean, what is the plural of a Pegasus? Right, that's another loss. We'll give it another attempt. And if it comes down to it, I can just go for my Gravekeeper deck. Which, no offense, Jaden, your deck kind of sucks right now. You have so many weak cards, they can't do barely any damage. It just seems some of the story decks, like, you have pretty decent coverage, or overall just uh, something that's a really good counter, and then after other story decks is just, I don't know what it is, they just create such terrible balance between the cards. It's probably a very unique, like, uh, a very unique playstyle you have to use the decks for, and my, you know, smooth brain doesn't work it out. Alright, we're gonna go near space. Uh, what are we going to do? We can summon Grand Mole. Alright, we'll summon Mole, and that way we can go Grand Mole. And I'm pretty sure that's going to be his tortoise, if I'm not mistaken, which I can return back to his hand. Oh, it doesn't say. But that's going to leave me open for an attack. Alright, there's Amber Mammoth. Hopefully we can get... Maybe if I can get uh, Neos, what we can do is use Fake Hero to get him on the field. That way I don't have to trigger it summon for him, and that's why I can actually use uh, Neos Space. But what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Throw you in defense mode, maybe? I can use Cocoon Party and bring out a monster for each one that's on the graveyard. Yeah, graveyard in our field.
Alright, Topaz Tiger, and a Mammoth, and Sapphire Pegasus. So, there's going to be a lot of points we're going to take, but there's a couple of, uh, of the cards in the graveyard now, so we can use Cocoon Party afterwards. Gonna go one more air hummingbird. Like the crystals cards are cool because they can be useful to uh, essentially get the cards you need out of your deck. And also, the less cards you have on the uh, in your deck, the more likely you to draw the card you need. Should have placed that in defense mode. I didn't think about that. Throw that in defense. Get 2,000 life points. Monster card? Oh, damn it. Also for a monster card. Switching into defense, that's not half bad. Alright, we get another Neo Space Well, That is not going to be useful. Maybe we throw out this, but I mean, that's really all we can do. Shoy Topaz Tiger. Ah, oh, that's right, you switch into... God damn it, that's not good. And we are dead again. <laughs> 